Hi everybody, I'm Melanie Smith. I'm an urban planner, urban designer uh, here in Los Angeles and I am currently at uh, Metro in the Transgender Communities Planning Group but I have spent the lion's share of my 20 plus years in planning in the private sector. Um, and I'm not going to talk about either particularly. Um, but uh, as I spent a lot of time really recently focusing on um, the ideas around systems thinking for planners and connecting the dots. And I spent a lot of time talking to my students um, at USC about this too. So off we go. Um, three minutes. So for me, um, <laughs> for me, all roads lead back to John Muir um, and his statement that everything is connected to everything else. So, but Muirism, Right? Or systems thinking has not really been a philosophy that we've all grown up with as children in our, in our classrooms. However, in, in contrast, um, the German concept of Bildung underpins the entire educational model of Nordic countries. Um, Nordic students are taught to understand complex systems and see the relationships between things, uh, between self and society, community of relationships in a family and a town. So this seems useful to me. This seems like a useful cons construct and a, and a useful way um, of thinking, and I hope it's going to seem useful to you. Um, but so we have to get back to the um, complex system um, of urban planning. And I feel like this is going much slower than the 30 seconds I thought it would go, so that's really weird to me. But it um, sort of feels like it's really not moving at all. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so the, um, so get back to a metaphor that we're probably all more familiar with, the three-legged stool. A wonderful three-legged stool, right? So when we think about urban planning and the environment, um, uh, and we apply it to urban planning, then we've got to think about, um, in terms of the, the environment, like we've got to think about land use, right, and affordability. Um, we've got to think about locations and connections and the infrastructure that underpins it, underpins it. And then we've got to think about the outcomes, right, that we're seeking in terms of the physical health. Of, of people. When we think about the domain of economy or the leg of economy, there are temporal considerations. We've got to think about the past, inequitable systems that have been set up in the past. We've got to think about today, what we can measure, um, and then we've got to think about um, the vulnerabilities we can see and then how we change things in the future and, and, and really providing access to all for opportunity, jobs, and wealth. And then thirdly, when we think about, there's the third domain of society, right, in our three-legged stool. Um, <coughs> Planners have to system, consider systems and, and um, entities and supports that are not in the public domain necessarily, but we've got to start paying, I think, more and more attention to them. Um, churches, schools, community-based organizations. And again, that mental, social well-being, that those kinds of outcomes that we're seeking um, from a strong society. And um, most importantly, the inclusive process that we need to um, really undertake to, 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 to be necessary to achieve anything, which I'll come back to. So, um, so this whole system, right, that, that adds up to um, not a housing project, a bike lane, um, a rail line, a scary, perhaps, um, threatening change, or an albatross around our neck but instead a system of considerations that put us on the path to quality of life, health, sustainability, resilience, um, and equity. And all these pieces needed to, to be understood to make up the whole and the outcomes humanized so we can get on board. But then how? So, um, you know, how do we talk about this? So my call to action is this, you know, we all do community engagement as probably as part of our work. Um, I'd ask us to consider how are we doing that engagement. And this Henri Nguyen, um, in his book, Reaching Out, asks us to think about moving from hostility um, to hospitality. And he says that we should convert hosp hostility into hospitality, and that this requires the creation of friendly, empty space where we can reach out to our fellow human beings and invite them into a new relationship, a relationship in which we are friends, not enemies. So I think we need to consider the system and then consider how we convey the outcomes of the system that we're trying to get to and how do we create space for co-creation with communities.